In a previous video, a lot of people called me out for cultural appropriation for wearing a yukata in Tokyo. And while I agree with you all, today I decided to see what Japanese people thought by wearing a kimono and walking around Kamakura, which is a town about one and a half hours from Tokyo. I got some really strong reactions and was even stopped more than five times. Why Kamakura? Well, because Tokyo people are known for being cold. People don't often interact or notice other people so much there, as you've most likely noticed in my other videos. Outside of Tokyo is where people are stereotypically friendlier. By the way, welcome to my channel. My name is Anem and I'm an American living in Japan for over 8 years now. A lot happened this day, so today we will be covering quite a few topics like how to rent a kimono in Japan, what happens when a black girl goes to a Japanese hairstylist with locks, being called out for a cultural appropriation, and what Japanese people think of me culturally appropriating their clothes. Let's get started. <laughs> All throughout Japan, you'll find many yukata and kimono rental shops because buying these traditional clothes can be too expensive, similarly to how many people rent their wedding clothes in the States. Today, I'm renting my kimono from Kamakura Kimono Komochi, and no, they aren't sponsoring me. Most times when renting traditional clothes like these, you have to either call or reserve on their website before entering the store. I reserved this kimono the day before and was the last open reservation. Yukata are typically worn in the summer and basically comprise of mainly the robe and obi belt, while kimono are mainly worn in the winter and have so many parts underneath. You can tell the difference by looking near the neckline. If you can see the white of the robe underneath, it's likely a kimono. If you cannot, it's likely a yukata. After they helped me put on the kimono, it was time for hairstyling. I could choose between any of the styles shown here. As a black person living abroad, I'm often asked about how I do my hair in Japan, and no worries, I'll make videos about that later on. Yes, a lot of other cultures do not have experience with doing black hair, but there's no need to shame them for it. It's been my experience in Japan that if you give people the opportunity, oftentimes they humbly step up to the plate and try. Like today. I had no idea she had never done dreadlocks before. Why? Because she just confidently jumped in. It was her first time styling locks, but you would never guess it from the results. What do you think? <laughs> Another question I get asked a lot is about me appropriating Japan's culture when I wear their traditional clothes. Is what I'm doing appropriation? Yes. According to the personal definition of cultural appropriation used by those individuals to call me out for it. However, when we look at a more agreed upon definition by the world and what the world uses to explain things, dictionaries, we learn that appropriation is the unacknowledged or inappropriate adoption of the customs, practices, ideas, etc. of one people or society by members of another and typically more dominant people or society. 
For example, growing up and knowing what booty shaking is, and then having someone outside of the culture take it and rename it as twerking. Changing the term for styling baby hairs as doing sticky bangs. As an American, I have grown up in Black American culture, White American culture, Korean culture, Latino culture, and Russian culture. Like many Americans, I am multicultural and have various aspects of these cultures that I identify with. But I know better to rename or colonize lomo saltado, holodietz, kimchi, or even gyoza into words like potstickers. But this is just me. In reality, I was stopped more than five times because of my kimono. Here's how Japanese people reacted. What would you do in these situations? When we travel and don't speak the language of the country, we're oftentimes very defensive and think everyone is talking about us or staring at us. We listen acutely to the foreign language ready to retort or give evil glares if we think someone is talking about us. If you don't speak Japanese and coming from Tokyo where most people will leave you alone, it's easy to interpret the women staring talking about me or the people stopping me as negative. As an American, I could also think they're calling me out for appropriation since many people don't use its actual definition. But when you understand the language, <laughs> okay, this next part took me completely off guard. Watch what happens next in this completely uncut segment. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. In the span of a minute, person after person kept telling me how beautiful I looked, and it wasn't just there. Actually, fun fact, you know you're not supposed to walk in the center? I didn't know that. Yeah. This is the centers for God. Yeah. I hope this video was enough to inspire you to be less defensive, get out of your comfort zone, and to let in and give more love by learning about the other cultures and languages of this world. Yeah. How, how's your feet? They hurt. I'm still wearing stockings, so like what they told me to do is like to push my stocking in between my toe and then put the sock on top of it. But as you can see, like my toes here are like crunched like this. いや、日本の文化。はい。言ってくれてるから嬉しい。毎年どのくらい浴衣とか着物を着ますか僕僕着ない。理由ありますか<笑> feel like your your feelings change when you wear a kimono? My feelings. What do you mean my feelings? Do you feel Japanese? 
I don't know what Japanese feels like. What does that feel like? <laughs> How does Japanese? You you're like Japanese American. You don't even know like what is Japanese no, 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 Japanese. No. You, you feel like miso soup or something, right? You I feel like, like miso soup. <laughs> so, he said he doesn't speak yeah. Korean. I uh, doesn't speak Japanese. So I said in Japanese, okay, it's okay. <laughs> and then I realized, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, doga, doga. ありがとうございます。わあ、すごい。ご覧ください。え、みんな素敵だと思う。すごい、あの、可愛らしいし。はい、誰でも。Make sure to check the description for resources I use to study Japanese. Thanks so much for watching the 18,000 subscribers and for all of your support. Let's hit 100k subscribers this year.